Nick Swansonheisel and Richard Hansen have been working on the transition between the ancient supercontinents Nuna and Rodinia for years. Nick Swansonheisel in the Great Lakes region of North America and Richard Hansen in the Kalahari Craton of Southern Africa. Recently, they've combined forces with the consultation of Taylor Killian and the outcome was quite compelling in the subject of today's vlog, India Isn't Alone. When watching the well-constrained plate motions of the most recent supercontinent cycle of Pangaea, one thing stands out, India. The rapid motion of India, topping out at 16 centimeters per year, is seemingly unparalleled. The incredible speed culminated in the dramatic rise of the Himalayas. Usually geologists put speeds of plate motion into context by comparison to the growth of your nails. Compared to the speeds of today's plates, the peak speed of India is off scale. The speed of India was less like the growth of your nails and more like the growth of your hair. Nick Swansonheisel had already suspected that India wasn't alone. Nick's work on phenomenally preserved volcanic rocks in Ontario had indicated that North America, like India in recent past, had tested the plate tectonic so-called speed limit about 1.1 billion years ago. By combining forces with Richard Hansen, Swanson Heisel and colleagues, all proud and productive members of IGCP 648, were able to garner more convincing evidence than ever that North America had shifted tectonically just as dramatically as India had, if not more. In particular, due to Richard Hansen's involvement, the team was able to illustrate that ancient tectonic setting where the rapid motion of North America, like India in the Himalayas, culminated in collision with the Kalahari Craton of Southern Africa. Nick's team estimates that North America moved as fast as 24 centimeters per year, even faster than India, even faster than the theoretical speed limit. In fact, the concept of a hard and fast limit on the speed of plate tectonics has been recently called into question on theoretical grounds as well. Rheological variations, or different vulnerabilities to deformation, are important in subducting slabs as the force is bending them downward. Complexities aside, the two motions of India in recent past and North America about 1.1 billion years ago are exceptional, but clearly not singular. As the IGCP 648 project seeks to credibly investigate increasingly ancient and increasingly cryptic supercontinent cycles, demonstrating similarities to the recent cycle of Pangaea is at the heart of our mission. Demonstrating that the story of Pangaea writ large has been played out before is confirmation of the concept of a supercontinent cycle. Demonstrating that India is not alone is a great example of a great IGCP 648 success. Here, I play the two movies side by side for your enjoyment. India moving north on the left, and North America moving south on the right. Age is indicated in millions of years. Watching North America and India play side by side at the same frame rate in freely available G-Plate software allows you to directly compare the two dramatic plate motions. The similarities are nothing short of stunning. Both motions occurred during the reorganization between supercontinent cycles. India's rapid drift occurred during the breakup of supercontinent Pangaea and assembly of future supercontinent Amasia. North America's rapid drift occurred during the breakup of supercontinent Nuna and assembly of supercontinent Rodinia. Both India and North America transited the equator, crossing from one hemisphere into the other, India from the south to the north and North America from the north to the south. Both India and North America moved purely in latitude accompanied by little to no rotation. Both motions test the 20 centimeter per year plate tectonic speed limit. India, after all, may not be so peculiar, but a fundamental part of the supercontinent cycle. India isn't alone. Breakup and assembly of supercontinents more ancient than Pangaea resulted in similar such dramatic plate reorganizations.